Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we're in a cluster. We've got a red cluster before us. Another red day for me dropped one R. I wanna show you some specifics in this trade that will show you again where I could have potentially lost two R, but because of the change in my strategy, I was able to prevent that. So I wanna show you the live recording of this trade again. Another short position on AMD. Um, I took 1,200 shares short, and I wanna dive into that right now so that you can see it. Um, what I was watching this morning coming into this was, you can see the two triangles. Interactive Brokers does a nice job of showing where your orders are. So I'm gonna roll back to the beginning of the trading day. And we can see this candle right here was the 915. So as many of you know, again, like Groundhog Day, I like to take this short below this low. So I actually had an order placed at $91, looking to get short 1,200 shares. You're gonna see over here, I took a little bit of slippage, about seven and a half cents on the entry. And I did get short, and let's jump into the video right now. I sped this up because it took about 10 minutes, but let's go ahead and hit play. You're gonna see that we start to move up. And again, like I always say, I always think, okay, we're going higher. Um, you know, we're not gonna get triggered today. And then it seems like clockwork. We just start to roll over, things start to look weak, and then we get that push to the downside and we get triggered, which is great, except the moves have been really choppy the last couple days being up and down. So you see a hammer doji start to form. You got that little pin bar. Starts to drop, looking a little weaker. We're about two and a half minutes into the market, so liquidity is good. I like that. I like not being filled in the first minute or so because we get a really tight bid-ask spread. Now, we kind of touch down. We don't quite get triggered, and then we're going to get in, but we did take a little slippage on that on the way in. So now we're looking okay. We get this push down, and I'm wanting to see... 90, let's see, 90.42, and then I would be moving my stop loss to 90.92. So you see, as we're moving around here, there we go, we start to push down, we get as low as 57, and what I misspoke, I meant 52. If we see 52, I'll move my stop to 92. We got to 57, 55, we didn't quite get 40 cents in, and I'll press, well, let me press pause for a quick second. In case you're new to the channel, I like to wait for 40 cents of profit before I move my stop loss from its current position to break even, and I came up three pennies away. And the troubling part of that is, if I wouldn't have taken slippage as great, I may have moved this to break even already but it is what it is. So it comes back up and I thought, oh no, we're reversing again, just like Monday, it's like Groundhog Day. But then it flipped and it came back down again. And it gave me another push down below the entry and I thought, okay, now we're gonna get moving. And then ultimately it just turned around and, and didn't come back. So not looking so good right here, it gets really close and then it starts dropping. And here I thought, okay, we had the little pullback, people took some profit, and now we're gonna make the next push lower. So I really felt pretty confident right here. I thought we were gonna see 52 and then I was gonna to move to break even. And then I was kind of envisioning a strong sort of volatile push down so that we could get that, that trigger and get out of the position. I was feeling really good right in here but then it just kept holding and pushing back up above my entry, not giving any progress, just not being compliant at all. And it's, it's funny how it feels so much like yesterday. And then it pops up and boom, we're out. So that was the trade. It was relatively quick, um, took about 10 minutes. I'm gonna flip over to the live chart because I wanna show you my trades. You can see commissions on the short and the long. And then if I flip to the summary, you can see my 1,200 shares uh, that I sold and then bought to cover. Um, got the average price of 90, 90, almost 90, 92 and a half. Not the best fill in the world. And then we got a decent fill on the way out. $14.55 on commissions. 
with a realized P&L total loss, including commissions of 367. So yes, it's unfortunate, another R gone, but this is the game. Um, I got a message from someone today who was in our live stream and she dropped some serious knowledge on me saying, literally we, we show up, our job is to put the trade on, we don't use emotion, we just watch the trade, watch the result, stick to our plan. If we lose, we move on to tomorrow. If we win, we move on to tomorrow. Really, it's very mechanical. Losses aren't fun, but they just happen. And we know they're coming. We only win half the time, roughly. So we have to know that we're going to get loss, win, loss, win, loss, win. But the key, the key takeaway here is celebrate this. Celebrate one R loss. Because we capped our losses, we didn't let things get, get, get out of control, we stayed tight in our plan. And when we do catch a winner, we're going to catch a 2.5 to 1. So let's just go into tomorrow. Let's go into the future for a second here. Let's say we win tomorrow. That means I lost on Monday, lost on Tuesday, won on Wednesday, and net, I'm up a half an R. One winner will wipe out two and a half days of losses. So you have to stick to those mechanics. As long as we're winning bigger than we're losing, we're gonna be completely fine as long as we have a win rate that supports it. And if you were in the live stream, you would know the calculation for calculating your break even. If you didn't see that in the live stream, I'm gonna post the live stream right here. I recommend watching this thing start to finish, this was a great live stream, and the formula is in the beginning of the video where you can calculate what your break even is so that you know when you back test if you're trading a profitable strategy. If your break even's 40%, then your win rate or your win rate in your back testing needs to be greater than 40%. So check that out. Drop me a comment below and let me know if that formula has been helpful for you. And the other thing I want to say is that if you want to track your trades so that you can make sure that you get the right metrics, because keeping track of every detail of every trade is very hard, go to traderview.com in the description or in the banner of the YouTube channel. Use those links. Sign up for an account, and that'll help support taking trades and our overall trading family here. So I really appreciate that. I thank you for stopping by. If you want to join our Facebook group, there's also a link in the banner and in the description. We'd love to have you come over and join us. We're, I think, getting close to 240 members. So it's getting, it's great. It's really growing and there's a lot of great discussion over there. So come join us. Drop me a comment below. Let me know how your trading went today and we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.